Welcome back to another edition of FLIR Prime. I'm Grant Coffey. At an IAFC HAZMAT conference, one of our listeners, Mike Bioski, came to us and asked us to cover specifically the issues surrounding mercury, toxicity, and how to respond to mercury incidents. Mercury is found in a lot of different places. It's found in industrial applications, in mining, plumbing, dental offices, other industrial applications, but really where it's found most commonly is in common everyday items. It can be in thermostats, in, in thermometers, in lighting, in mercury switches. The nature of mercury is such that it being very heavy, it will spread out in little tiny beads and then it'll start to evaporate a little less than room temperature, 55 degrees. Once that happens, then it turns into a gas. That's when you breathe it in and that's when mercury will be able to affect the inside of your body as a systemic poison. We want to try to teach you some techniques to clean up the mercury in those small situations before it becomes an issue that will expose your body to that systemic poison. Okay, let's demonstrate a few simple techniques you can use at home to clean up small mercury spills. Now remember, if this mercury gets into deep carpet, uh, anything porous like that, you really need to cut that out, call for a cleanup contractor, and also don't use your vacuum cleaner at home. Your vacuum cleaner at home, once it's cleaned that up, it can't be cleaned itself, it's gonna have to be thrown away. But if you put together in a bag like this, gloves, duct tape, some shaving cream, a few playing cards, and an old toothbrush, that's about all you'll need to have a really good cleanup kit for small amounts. And remember, if you spill it out of a thermometer or one of these little switches, what it'll look like is a BB. And it looks like silver BBs and they roll around, especially on a tile floor. They're pretty easy to locate and clean up. Let's, let's try a few techniques. Take a little of that duct tape. Once you put your gloves on from your kit, you can just basically pick up the BBs right on the duct tape. Throw it right in your, your bag. And again, you're going to throw this bag away at a local recycling place or a metro transfer station for, for uh, hazardous waste. Second one you can use is you can take a toothbrush, put a little of that, a lot of that uh, shaving cream on there, and you can just basically start picking up these beads, put them right in the whole thing, right in there. And you're going to close that up at the end there. And then, um, again, playing cards. These are nice because on a tile floor, these roll around a little bit. You just want to start bringing these together with the playing cards. Get them nice, and they roll just like that and you want to get them up, put them in another little container that you've, you've got ready, just like that. Put a cap on it. Put it right in your kit with everything else. Take your gloves off at the end. Put that in there. Take this to one of those recycling centers because you don't want to just throw this in the trash and you're all done. Mercury is a systemic poison. It affects your body in a lot of different ways. It can be chronic at low levels, but really some of the key things, nausea, memory loss, kidney damage, tremors, this can happen with very small amounts of mercury. Have you ever heard the statement, mad as a hatter? Well, in the 1800s, beaver felt hats were really the rage, and the hatters had to mold them, and mercury was used in that process, and they'd mold that hat, and as it heated up, they would in inhale that. And they basically had all kinds of, of problems uh, with their mental faculties, and they termed them mad as a hatter, because you could tell that that was one of the hat makers. Small spills versus large spills, kind of a significant issue. Small spills can be cleaned up fairly effectively with a little tiny cleanup kit that you can make yourself. You want to take your shoes off, put gloves on, you want to turn the heat down, ventilate the area. If it's a larger spill, unknown size, large quantity, uh, into porous substances like carpet or couches or multiple rooms or bigger than, let's say, uh, five by five, 10 by 10 room, you want to call in the licensed contract. It can get very technical. It can get to be a very serious operation. Remember, mercury spills, it's a very serious thing, but with the proper equipment and a little bit of training, you can clean that up at small quantities and be safe. We have a download that will cover some extra details about this at flare.com slash prime. Thanks for watching another episode of Flare Prime.